hello this is Cherokee I'm actually gonna do a video review today of a new bag that I got so I'm gonna have to make this video quick because I only have a I don't have a lot of time left on my phone so basically I got soaked in the rain one day and uh, like a month ago or so and uh, like I could wring out my clothes it was that you know I was that soaked so <laughs> I was like, you know what, maybe it's time for me to invest in some better rain gear. So um, I walk to work and back, and so I'm out in the elements a lot, and I'm totally fine with it. Even that day that I got drenched, I was, I was like laughing all the way home. It was just something like invigorating about being out in the rain. But be that as it may, I was like, let me just invest in some better rain gear, even though that's like a unique circumstance. So anyway, I went and bought this bag, all right? This is what they call a rubberized leather bag because all the papers in my book, I use a book bag when I walk back and forth, all the papers in my book bag got soaking wet, right? So I said, let me try to find like a waterproof bag or something. So I went on the internet and pretty much the first one I found was this bag. And it's from Hunter and they sell uh, boots and things like that. Rain gear, right? I'm like, oh, perfect. So I ordered, and I didn't do a whole lot of research on it. The bag is super, like, clean looking, and it just kind of fit, you know, I just did very little looking, and I, I purchased this bag, right? So I do that, and I get it in the mail, and I'm not really happy, which is why I'm doing this video. So, <laughs> and even though I looked up some reviews, none of the re reviews I felt were really thorough, and had I... If I had known a few things, I would not have purchased this bag. So I was like, man, somebody should have made a video about this or that and the other thing. Somebody, somebody. So guess what? I'm somebody. And <laughs> here goes the video. All right. So I wrote down all the stats. So this is the bag. It is a weatherized, what do they call it? A weatherized leather bag or something like that. It's, a, it's called Hunter. And they make rain gear or stuff like that. I don't know. I'm not into names and stuff like that. Um, and it's a top clip bag. Okay. First of all, I didn't quite get what that was. Like I said, I didn't do a whole lot of research on this bag. So it does, it does, everything opens from the top. Right? <laughs> I didn't really know that. <laughs> and then it clips like this. Yeah, I kind of brought it kind of hastily. Right? So it is the length that I like. Um, these pockets open like that, so you have to like dig your hand down in, you know what I mean? You can't really see. So you're kind of limited with what you may be able to keep in there. Um, I usually like everything to open nice and cleanly. This bag is very attractive, but um, not quite sure about the practicality of it yet. That's not the, the reason why I have an issue with the bag. Anyway, so let me just go over the statistics. So from their website, it says it is a top clip backpack rubberized leather, all right? The cost of the bag is $2.95, and this color is navy. It kind of looks black on the screen, but it's actually navy, and that's a part of the reason why I got it. I wanted something black, but not too black. The other colors, which are all very nice colors, are red, dark green, dark navy like this one, black, and there's a, a gorgeous yellow one I almost got. Anyway, it's sold out now. Um... It is 14.96 inches tall, 4.53 inches deep, and 10.63 inches wide. On the website, it does say it's highly water resistant, which is the reason, the only reason why I got it. I do like my book bag a lot, but I have patched it up many times and I don't really want to get rid of it, but I think it's time. <laughs> it's got a whole tear down the side. I just kind of keep the important stuff not on that side. So. <laughs> Um, so highly water resistant and that's why I got it and it says wear and use is normal um, uh, yeah okay and then it has space for a laptop and whatever okay so let me get into the details of this bag so that's a bag in a nutshell I mean a book bag is kind of like a book bag but when I got this bag let me tell you what the very first thing I noticed is because I wasn't sure about something that I saw on the website when I got it the first thing I checked was inside the bag and on the inside of the bag I'll try to show as much as that I can okay this is actually not a um, 
cloth lining. It's like a polyester kind of lining. So when I was younger and whenever I bought bags with this kind of lining, they always ripped. So I never bought bags with that kind of lining ever again. And so I never would buy a bag like that. And I was surprised that this bag had this kind of lining in it because it usually lasts for like a month and then it rips out. It's really hard to show you the inside. But basically, it is a polyester lining. It is not that cloth lining that will last you however long you have the bag for. All right, that's important to know. Right. Not that big of a deal because if the outside lasts, it could be okay. All right, the major number one issue that I had with this bag. I pack a lot of stuff every day, right? Look at these straps. Look at these straps. Okay. Ah, this is a good, okay. What is this? You got this big honking bag. It feels really nice. It feels soft, you know. It's, it's, it feels really good. And you have what feel like good quality straps, right? But then they're attached by like, why isn't the strap attached to the book bag? Like, that really pissed me off when I saw that. I was like, why <laughs> does it look like that? Why is there like a little skinny thing attached to the book bag, a durable book bag attached to a durable strap? I do not understand that at all. I'm trying to get this on the camera. I don't understand that. And so that was concerning to me because the book bag itself, by itself, is a bit heavy, right? And I plan on loading it up with lots of stuff. So are these straps going to last me, okay? <laughs> this is why I'm making this video. <laughs> Anybody wants this bag, okay? Be aware. Polyester lining and whatever the heck they decided to design that for with the straps, I have no idea. So, I sat with this bag for like a week and I was like, maybe I should just return it. And then I didn't really feel like returning it because if I return it, I still got to buy another bag and I didn't feel like looking for one. I don't really like shopping. Maybe that's why. So... I ended up keeping the bag and I said you know what I'll just keep the bag hopefully it will be okay and of course after the fact I decided to go online and and look up uh, reviews which it still has like almost a five-star rating from the majority of people but everyone kind of complains about the same things um, this it looks beautiful it is metal right and it con contributes to the sleekness of the bag for sure. However, I bought it so I can go in the rain with it. And that's metal. <laughs> Those two things don't usually mesh too well. I did not know that that was a metal clip. I just assumed it was plastic. This side is plastic. This side's metal. So <laughs> I have high hopes for this bag. And, you know... It is what it is. I decided to keep it. I'm just going to go with the flow and, you know, it's still very cute, you know, but I really like practicality over cuteness. I like both, but I really need practicality more than I need cuteness. So anyway, but that's it in a nutshell. So that is the Hunter, what is it called? Hunter Top Clip Backpack Rubberized Leather Review. Gorgeous bag. Very beautiful from the front. Totally clueless about what the heck's going on with those straps. A metal clip that a lot of people have complained about it rusting and uh, you know just a couple other you know like the weird kind of pockets where I have to pick my hand all the way inside and I can't really like open it up and see you know what's going on in there so that's okay because you know what I thought it's an opportunity to just be more streamlined be even more organized oh what I almost forgot this part I love about the bag secret pocket on the side there is a secret pocket to put your laptop and it's lined with neoprene so that's actually a really cool feature I think that's actually my favorite feature of this bag do I carry a laptop with me no but it's still <laughs> it's a cool feature of the bag <laughs> yeah sometimes I snort when I laugh I like it <laughs> so anyway I am not editing any videos at this time in my life. Maybe one day. I have in my head like, one day I'm going to learn like video development and like do all of that stuff. But I don't have time for it right now. So anyway. So that's it. That's my review for Hunter Original. And and you know what? After the fact, when I did, um, when I did look up the reviews, 
a lot of people that had problems they said the customer service was great and they were able to get a replacement you know as things kind of didn't work out as planned as things got rusted or <laughs> fell apart then they they were happy to replace it so that's why I was like okay hopefully that will you know hopefully the bag will be fine like I plan on starting using it tomorrow so um, but yeah I'm ready ready for the rain because I do not want to stop walking to work it's something I love to do rain or shine or sleet or snow um, I really really love it and enjoy it and actually when I first started walking to work it was in a blizzard because I figured you can only get go up from here <laughs> right? start work walking in a blizzard any snow day or any rain day is like nothing you know so anyway that's it that is the review of the hunter rubberized leather backpack top clip it's got this really long name bag and I'll put the details in the description and yeah that's it um, I can't recommend it or not recommend it yet just because I have not used it <laughs> but it is beautiful as you can see and it feels nice and we'll see if there's any problems and I'll post something as an addendum but that won't be for a few months because I really like to break things in anyway that's it Cherokee signing off it's actually nice making a video again and I shall see you another time. Have a good night.